Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new Zebra Mighty Grip. Zebra set out to discover what the most common mechanical pencil user complaints were. And in this pencil design, they are trying to solve three of those common problems. So one of those problems is, if you tend to have a drier hand versus say a sweaty hand, the material of grip you need is different. Another thing they were trying to solve is some people want a thin grip, some people want a big fat grip. And finally, the third thing is some people feel that their grips get dirty and they wanna be able to replace it without having to get rid of their favorite pencil. So um, in order to explain to you how Zebra is solving those problems, I am going to show you what this pencil looks like when you get it in the package. So as you can see, this pencil comes with no grip on it. And when you're picking your pencil, you are going to be picking, make sure you can see that, a wet grip versus a dry grip. So these are the wet grips, these are the dry grips. Now, the idea here is if you have a dry hand, then you want to get the wet grip. This grip has a moist feel and so it's great for your dry hands. Now, I happen to have very dry hands, so I can provide firsthand you know, feedback on that. I do not have a sweatier hand, so I you know, can only tell you how I feel about that grip based on somebody who doesn't need it. But I think it will be helpful for me to explain my experience. The dry grip is going to be for if you have a, if you're, I think you know what I mean if you have this issue, but you hear people talk about how their hand just tends to run sweatier. So this grip is going to absorb your sweat and feel dry even if you sweat your hands. Now, the whole concept was developed from the grips that are on tennis rackets, if that gives you an idea. Same material. So this is essentially, I think Zebra was thinking, hey, if you can make your own perfect custom tennis racket grip, why not do that on a mechanical pencil? So any, you know, anytime I have to make my own of something, whether it be grip or some other random thing, I get a little bit nervous, but in this video today, I'm going to show you how to do it. So these are two already made up ones, just so I could show you the difference here. This is the one that I find very comfortable. I have a dry hand. The grip is very comfortable in my hand when I'm, let me zoom here. When I'm writing, this just feels like I have control of the pencil. When I use the dry grip, you know, because my hand is already dry, it just feels like I do not have as much control of the pencil. I don't like it. It um it my my hand is not sliding, but it feels like it could start sliding. So, definitely I don't recommend the dry grip if you have dry hands. If you have dry hands, you need the wet grip. And so that's my first hand experience about that. I'm kind of, you know, hesitant to ask other people here at Tokyo Pen Shop if they have <laughs> sweaty hands because I feel like that's the kind of thing people don't want to admit to. So I don't have first-hand feedback about this dry grip if you have sweaty hands. But if you have sweaty hands, you want to try it. <laughs> so the super cool thing about this pencil is after you pick your base guy with your base grip, let me zoom back out, 
Then you can decide if you want more than one grip. So, so say you know that you like it extra thick. So right off the bat, you're going to get an, an add-on grip. So these grips are sold separately. Or say you you know you're someone who go who dirties up your grip pretty quickly, you might want to get a spare. So it is very handy, no pun intended, that you're able to customize in this way, get the number of grips that you want. I personally don't need a thick barrel, so for me it would be enough just to start, you know, with a starter here. Now What I'd like to do is take you through building a pencil. But in order to do that, I'm gonna work a little bit backwards. Because first I'm going to deconstruct the pencil. So you're going to have this band, this silicone band here pulled up and then you can see where you can see where this ended and we're actually gonna this is very satisfying isn't it we're going to remove this grip how fun is that <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm what I'm going to do is take some goo gone to this little bit at the end that I feel like did not come off cleanly so that I can build for you from scratch and show you how to do this. So hold on one moment because we want a perfect template to start with. Okay, so I have used Goo Gone to make sure that I'm starting with a perfectly blank slate here. All right, so you know what? I get to pick a grip. So remember, because my hands are dry, I pick a wet grip. And so what I have here are some colors to choose from. Now two of these colors are limited. The oops. Two of these colors are limited. The rest are going to be around for good. And you know, I think I'm going to have to do a paint grip. So I'm just gonna do one because I don't need a thick grip, but I will insert into the video right now different styles that Zebra kind of recommends you can do. So here's that picture. Okay, now here is my wet grip. I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing at the same time as I need to be able to focus on doing this. So this will be tricky. So I'm going to remove this plastic backing there. And then there are two sticky parts, the starter and the finisher. I hope this makes sense what I'm saying. <laughs> so you remove these so that your sticky parts are exposed. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that on YouTube. Okay, and then you're gonna, you start near the nose and there's actually a star where you start. So 
so nervous. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to carefully, you can hold on here. And you're going to wind your pencil and there's a little bit of an interesting okay so here's the thing to note is since the sticky part is really just at the beginning and the end you have definitely a chance to kind of be like oh wait I'm not doing it quite right and and start start over so I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate and then if we want to redo it we will Okay, so before I lock this up here, I wanna decide, do I like what I've done here? I, I do like it, but I think because why not, let's do it one more time. <laughs> okay, so that's how we start. And I'm using the grip here and the guidelines, I'm going to try to do the best <laughs> pencil grip spin you've ever seen. Just kidding. Okay. So then that goes there and then you're going to slide this ring down over it so your end is protected. Okay, very nice. I'm very happy with that. All right, so what did we not cover yet? It's worth repeating. If your hands lean dry, you buy the wet. <laughs> I'm afraid people are gonna do this the opposite. If your hands lean wet, you buy the dry. If you need more than one grip, you can do that. I showed some examples of the kind of, you know, multi-grips you could do. You can go up to three. I don't know if I said that yet. You can go up to three grips. So you can have a triple grip. And I think that's about it. So if you know somebody that just has a really fun time with mechanical pencils or a young student that you think would think this is really cool, it would actually make a really fun Christmas gift, especially like a stocking stuffer. So let me know if you have any questions. Probably this is, since this product is brand new and not many people watching this have tried it yet, but if you have tried it, please do let us know how you got along with it. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.